Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Vince, and recently somebody in my Discord asked, Make a van, why not? And I was like, hey, I kind of want to make a really quirky, weird van from the 90s, like an also be a silhouette, and also, my real name is Van. So, you know, van making a van. Van in the van in the van van. Yeah, so yeah. We're making a quirky weird van. This is gonna be the EVR Seabreeze. It's a 1998. I don't want it to be a 98. I want you to be a 1993. Thank you. Now, what are we gonna do with this weird cheese wedge? Well, we're, we're gonna slap a V6 in it, four speed automatic, and make it really like, I don't know, air quotes futuristic for what they thought the future would be like. You're like, man, we gotta like, put a hood scoop on the van. It'll look sick, dude. Trust me. So yeah, quirky van, quirky futuristic van from the 90s. That's what we're doing. Anyways, steel panel material, monocoque chassis. Actually, would it? Yeah, it'll be a monocoque chassis, I believe. Crozier versus steel, front transverse. It's going to be front wheel drive. Double wishbone and ooh, leaf. I don't actually know, man. What would it be? Torsion beam? Would it be torsion beam? I do not know. Um, we got something that's kind of like comfortable, so I guess torsion beam is kind of like the best of all of them and for this application, right? I, if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. Thank you. And now we're gonna slap like an EVR engine in here, and I'm just gonna... There you go. That's what our engine's called. The 34RHBUE3WRTYUG. Yes. And it's gonna be a V6, 90 degree V6, fully cast, direct acting overhead cam, two valves per cylinder, cast iron block, I mean head, and it's gonna be maybe like a 3.3 liter. Let's see if I actually get it completely square, let's see what it'd be. Maybe it's a three point something liter. 3.5, that's actually a good, uh, that's a good displacement right there. Um, maybe I should do overhead cam, yeah. Yeah, why not? Still two valves, though. Um, balance shafts, why not? We want it to be smooth. And then fully cast. We, we're not, we don't need to rev that high. Probably like 5,600 at most, really. It's a minivan, dude. How how much is a soccer mom going to be pushing the gas pedal down, right? Unless it's LA. Because that's like the only place in the world where soccer moms drive faster than everybody else. Well, it's also because they drive like AMG G wagons and shit. It's kind of crazy. All right, there we go. There's your intake. I do air suck right there. Except this injection, I don't... Yeah. And then we're gonna go with short cast headers. It does not need to be loud. 1.5 inch diameter exhaust, yes. And then color converter, high flow free weight. It's 1993, so I guess we just do two way then. Reverse flow and reverse flow, cause quiet. 129 horsepower, that's about where I wanted to be. Um. What are we revving to? 5,500? We could rev a little bit higher than that. Just so we can say we have more power. Never mind, it, the power didn't change at all. Okay, well, there's our engine. Uh, it's reliable. Frog response is alright. Smoothness could be better. It's not loud. Cooling's not that hard. Sur cheap service. Fuel efficiency is alright. Octane, yeah, sure. Oh! Our octane's actually pretty low. So we could up it a tiny bit to like 90. And there we go, 152 horsepower. Whoa, a whole two horsepower? No way, man. Here, then we can like, there we go. Lean it out a little bit more so then we get more fuel efficiency. Oh my God. Dude, we are literally like hitting. Hitting, I don't know, but we're doing it. And it's it's not gonna be the rape van version. It's gonna be like the non-rape van version. Like the one where, uh, I don't know, soccer mom van. But weird. I like this cheese wedge shape, so I might just keep that. I'm gonna have some cool like headlights right there, some fog lights and stuff. Maybe like a a sunroof. Oh my god, that'd be cool. It actually would be cool. A van of a sunroof would be pretty sick. Front wheel drive, automatic, four speed, top speed of 127. I don't think we gotta go any faster than that. Yeah, hundred and yes. Sure. And then an open differential. It's a minivan, dude. You're not going to be doing like reverse donuts or anything. Radial mini compound tires. 225s. That is way too much. We need like 205s. I don't know what's up with that. 
Even that looks a little bit too much, but whatever. Sure. 15 inch rims. No, we go 16 inch rims. Whoa, I'm kidding. Maybe we can go like 26 inch tires and then 16 inch rims. Yes. So that looks a little bit better now. And then they're not going to be alloy. They're just going to be some weird swirly hubcaps or something. Because future. So this one piston, blah, blah, brakes. Sure. Why not? Under tray, nope. We need all of the seats. All of them. Seven seats, no, we need more than that. We need like nine seats, nah. Okay, realistically, how many seats would. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah, that's good. But a lot of vans from back then would have uh, kind of like a two seat in the back, like they're swivelly. Swiv swivelly boys, yeah. So I guess we're going to be a seven-seater, some swivelly boys, which I will build. Um, Alright, let's go with standard, kind of standard interior. But we're also going to have a cassette player. No way, we can listen to... It's 1993, what would you be listening to? Um, We're going to listen to... Nevermind by Nirvana. I don't know what else to... Actually, 1993, you could listen to uh, In Utero. If it came out when this van was out because I know in utero came out in 1993 I just didn't know it I forget what month but I guess it doesn't matter because all we know is 1993 I'm kind of going off a tangent about music because I love music okay uh advanced 80s safety sure why not um optimized weight heavier just just to be more realistic you know uh only ABS no traction control it's a van it, I don't think it needs traction control unless you're dumb and don't know how to drive uh let's see how about we just like standard spring it and then kind of do like a utility type deal going on over here and lower it so it doesn't look stupid okay what do we got going on brakes are bad front dampers are hard well i don't know stop it i guess Rear brake force is high, the brakes are fading, clearance on the side of the engine is beep bop the boop. The stupid brakes are like not working for some reason. Can you like work? It'd be pretty cool if you would just like be good brakes, you know? God, I hate always fixing my brakes. How about you be large? Does that fix things? Now the rear brakes are too good. I'm not gonna make it a drum, bro. It's 1993. Here, just have like no brake force. The rear brake, rear brake force is still high here. All the brakes go to the front. There, there are no brakes in the back. Oh, I actually fixed everything. We only have front brakes now. Okay, whatever. We understeer. It's a van, dude. It's a van. What do you expect it to like drift, like oversteer around every corner? <laughs> okay. Anyways, I'm gonna design this and I'll be right back. Alright, here we are multiple hours later because of multiple different types of things. Like, we got computer, like, shitting itself. We got tsunami sirens going off. We got all kinds of shit going on. Anyways, here we are with the 1993 EVR Seabreeze. Look at this bad boy. What have we got in here? We got, a uh, the... Yeah. An electronic display. So cool, right? And, and then we got like, uh, what is this? A weird CD player? Yeah, I guess. And then you got a, you got the transmission selector on the top of this weird hump thing. And then you got like, you, okay, look, look at this. Look how cool this is, bro. You got these seats that face these guys, so these dudes can have like a conversation, yeah. 
and then so this is and then this is also it's also a bench seat in the front kind of so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and these guys like these guys like hang out here in the back and they face backwards and you got like a a door that opens outwards it's cool it's cool bruh and you also have this like this mono light for the brake light pretty swag lockable fuel cap no way you got the the spongebob looking ass boatmobile rims and yeah that's about it engine in here and so i'm gonna take this over to beam and g and i'll be right back and now we are in the game called beam and g drive and uh yeah um it's a van it's a uh it's a van and uh it says EVR on it. It says Sea Breeze on it. It uh, yeah, I already showed you the van. What am I doing? Right, let's drive it. Yeah, it exported really good. Let's drive it. Wow. Yes. Neutral drop the van. Oh. Damn, son. We got the sport mobile. Can can I? Oh. Oh, whoa. Dude. Yeah, one wheel appeal, hell yeah. I'm gonna do the Vin's Honda Element thing. Just like that. <laughs> Why is this actually really fun to drive? Like, it's not slow, even though it only has like 130 horsepower. Okay, stop at the stop sign. And floor it away from the stop sign and just lay some rubber down on one side. That's cool. This is the American way. Even our minivans just want to lay down rubber. The fuck just fell up? The hell is that? The shit just fell off. What are you? What is that? Oh, it's like my. It's my. It's like the bottom of my dashboard. Okay. Oops, I'm in reverse. Oh, as many of y'all might know, I don't really like front-wheel drive, right? But this is the only good thing you can do with front-wheel drive. No! It doesn't really work. Aw. There we go. Yes. This is how you do it. Let's see if I can hit like highway speeds by while doing this. This is driving really weird. Uh, maybe because I have the rear wheels locked up. Okay, yeah, it's boring. I'm gonna blow the engine up. It seems like a good, great idea. Alright. I mean, this could also be our, like, uh... This could be our top speed test right here, too. Oh, we got some downhill. 90. Oh, my God. 95. 97. 98. 99. We're doing double the speed limit now. Yes! I blew up the engine. Now what? I don't know. Crash into this pillar. That's survivable. We only hit... Uh, crash test time, yes. Great idea. Okay, let's like... Uh, here, 20 mile an hour... Overlap. Yep. Survivable. Um, You know, maybe... 40 mile an hour... Flat. That, survivable, survivable. How about falling from low Earth orbit? Let's see if that will work. Okay, let's just uh, a little bit higher than that. Okay, can't see the world no more, so that should be pretty good. I'm also just gonna rep. It's really trippy. 
we should be hitting once we like level out again as we should be hitting terminal velocity yep we're angled nope we're doing something I'm gonna turn the engine off and because of this van being shaped like it is maybe we'll like can be completely angled down like we're almost doing yeah look at that that's cool oh we're going fast survivable we passed this test as well see um it's survivable because damn there's still shit falling out of the sky uh, it's where is this stuff coming from but huh. that's a seat is it gonna bounce again yep look at it go okay uh it's survivable that's all i gotta say about that Oh no, we spawned back in the stratosphere. Oh god, anyways, I'm gonna load up the track while I'm falling. I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this van actually might go like really fast since it drives really well. It might actually go faster than some of our actual sports cars, so let's, let's hit this. Yo, we had like launch control going on right there. Holding it at 2000 RPM, you saw that? That's sick. I'm gonna laugh really hard if like one of the best vehicles I have to go around this track is this minivan that handles really well. Oh, there goes our thing again. Like it doesn't even understeer as much as automation said it would. Okay, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna last braking zone. Even now it's a little too early. I said it was too early, yet I still went wide. Okay, here's this stupid chicane that I can't stand. Eh. Could have been better. Now we're on the back straight. I'm gonna put it into second gear. And then once like, it hits 6,000, put it in the D. I'm giving it the D. Wait. Uh... Don't take that out of context. Um, anyways, yes, driving. Yes, let's just cut some corners. Why not? Whoa! Yes. Hell yeah. One forty four? That's not super slow, right? Oh yeah, it's pretty slow. It went slower than the Griffa. We went faster than the other Sea Breeze. I forgot I named the one I forgot I forgot I named that Pinto thing the Sea Breeze. I guess this 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 could be like the new version of the Sea Breeze, cause in my lore EVR is Falcon. Like it's a subsidiary. Okay, cool. Anyways, until next time. I am Vince. Bye. Mwah.